Hey, what is going on everybody? I'm Noah from TechnoBuffalo.com and this is the Barnes & Noble Nook tablet. Remember the days when uh, bookstores sold books, maybe magazines? Now they sell everything. Coffee, DVDs, tablets, games. Amazon sells garbage cans. It's crazy. All right, here's the Nook tablet, new from Barnes & Noble. It's available right now in stores and online for $249. John did an unboxing of this uh, earlier. I uh, received my review unit from Barnes & Noble PR. I had a little uh, product briefing with them on the phone today, so thank you to them, to Barnes & Noble, for uh, lending us a device. Um, so to take you through it, uh, John covered, yeah, just kind of the, the basic unboxing. I've been playing with this for a couple of hours now, not all that long, but enough to kind of take you through the basics of how it works. Just to kind of recap, $249, uh, it's a 7-inch display, uh, capacitive multi-touch display running Android 2.3 Gingerbread. Obviously, it's a customized version of Android with the Barnes & Noble user interface. Uh, it's the lightest fastest powered tablet that Barnes & Noble has made, uh, which, you know, I guess it's the only one they've ever called a tablet, but it's lighter and uh, more high powered than the Nook Color, to which it is kind of a successor in a lot of ways. Uh, but it's a dual core TI OMAP processor running at one gig. Uh, you've got a full gig of RAM. You've got 16 gigabytes of internal storage, and then also uh, a micro SD card slot on the back. Uh, Wi-Fi, USB capability, uh, has a microphone, uh, so up here on the top, you've got a 3.5mm headphone jack and a microphone, which uh, the Nook Color does not have the microphone. Otherwise, in a lot of ways, you know, similar to the uh, Nook Color, but uh, lighter, faster, you know, and supposedly bigger and better. So going through the OS, it does function more like a tablet uh, than the Nook Color did, if at least in sort of little subtle ways. One of them is that on the bottom here, you've got uh, your list of available apps, um, You've got one, let's kind of go back and do this in an organized fashion. You've got one button on here, the Nook button, that brings up this menu on the bottom. And from the menu, you can go to the home screen, which is where we're at. You can go to your library. And so you can see your books, your magazines, newspapers, apps, stuff for kids, and then your files. We've got the Barnes & Noble shop. So you can buy all kinds of stuff from the Nook store. Books, magazines, apps, etc., etc. You can search. You can go straight to your apps. You can browse the web. <laughs> I was checking out cars. We'll get back to that. Uh, and then you've got your last tab is settings. So we'll go home. And on the home screen, you've got um, a bookmark tab that will take you back to the last thing that you were reading. Uh, or to other bookmarks. You've got your settings, uh, Wi-Fi, I'm connected, battery life, time. Uh, I have not reset this from East Coast time, so it's actually it's only 250 here, not 550. I've got your list of uh, kind of quick jump shortcuts, books, newsstand, movies, music apps, and then you've got uh, kind of a scrolling library thing here. Uh, not limited to books, but books, um, periodicals, apps, all sorts of stuff. And then from here, so this stays on the screen no matter where you are, but then from here you can drag things out. And so I can keep some of this stuff on here. I can keep Netflix over there. We'll make a special page just for Pete the Cat. And so there you go. Uh, from here you can pinch and zoom, control the size of these shortcuts, and so forth. And you can see up on the top of the indicator you've got three home screens you can mess around with. Long hold, you can change the wallpaper. Shouldn't be, any, oh, it comes with photos, okay. So, ooh, that's, yeah, let's do the hoops. So terrific. Now I've got a new wallpaper. Now I've got a new, there we go. Now I've got a new wallpaper. Uh, the screen is quite nice. It's an IPS panel, uh, like I said, 7 inches, uh, 1024 by 600, which has caused some uh, some controversy, if you will, around this whole idea of Barnes & Noble pushing the Nook tablet uh, handling HD video. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but the screen looks quite nice. They've laminated the screen so there's no air gap. Um, 
uh, in between the panels of the display. So they've got this technology they're calling Vivid View, and uh, like I said, there's no air gap, and then they've also replied an, an anti-glare coating to it. Uh, you know, I've got a, I've got a sharp light uh, running, direct, kind of a harsh light running directly, shining directly on the screen, and so I can see the reflection of it for sure. But when I pick it up and kind of angle it more towards me, the glare, I mean, it's there, it's reflective, you know, but it's not, it's not too bad. It's not as bad as something like an Apple glossy display, but it certainly isn't entirely anti-glare. But at any rate, uh, it does look quite nice. Uh, you know, this background wallpaper is definitely made to show off the capabilities of the display, and uh, it's, a, it's a pretty nice looking panel. Uh, anyway, so you can customize your wallpaper, you can uh, clean up the panel. Woohoo! I can go to more up here and see the periodicals and uh, the other stuff that I've been looking at recent. Well, I wasn't looking at these things unless somebody before me was, but uh, I was looking at those periodicals. And then I can hit my keep reading bookmark and jump back to the New York Times, which is the last thing I was reading. Um, I can scroll, although these pages aren't meant to be scrolled, they're not meant to be pinched and zoomed either. And then I can hit my uh, my reading menu. So whether you're reading a periodical, a book, what have you, you have your reading controls. You can scan ahead. You can jump to a certain page. Uh, you can go through a table of contents to get to your content. You can search. Uh, you can share stuff. Recommend, rate, and review, like on Facebook. You can control the text font size, the font itself, uh, themes, line spacing, all that kind of stuff. So here, let's change giant type and Gil Sands. And now the whole thing looks different. Reading for bloggers who spent too much time staring at computer screens. Nice big type. Uh, you can also go to, hello, uh, control your brightness and then discover so you get related um, related things you can buy. So I'm reading the New York Times, I might want to read Cosmo. I might want to read the New York Times book review. I might want to read the Washington Post. All right, so we'll go back home. Let's take a look at um, some of the things that set this apart. The video I mentioned. So one of the things that Barnes & Noble is hyping on this is that the device uh, is built for speed, browsing is fast, video is fast, everything's fast, 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 and you've got access to HD video. This has caused some controversy, like I said, because the display is not an HD display. It's not 720p, let alone 1080p. Uh, it's only got 600 lines of resolution, you know, when you hold it in widescreen 16.9 mode. It's only 600 lines of resolution. So what Barnes & Noble means is that the tablet, the dual-core tablet, can handle HD video and play it back smoothly but you're not going to see a full 720 lines of resolution for HD and there's no way to output video from your tablet to uh, you know a big screen TV or something like that so you know a little bit misleading or just a little bit and eh, a little bit kind of uh, eh, slightly misleading um, but that being said you can play media back via you know this my media gallery and I don't have any videos in here or I can play a video back. We'll go back home and go to movies. And we'll go to Hulu Plus. And so it comes with Hulu Plus and I didn't actually mean to do that for gallery. It comes with Hulu Plus and Netflix apps built in. So we'll watch a little bit of um, Family Guy. You can see the screen a little bit of a fingerprint magnet there. My fingers are relatively clean, but uh, definitely getting kind of smeared up. Oh, yeah, Sorry, I bumped the screen. But the colors look great. The video is smooth. You can see, you know, some uh, the Android familiar, Android savvy out there will see some familiar icons and dialog boxes from time to time. I don't know why this guy is in a fight with a chicken. I can scan ahead. And this is all over Wi-Fi. Go to options. And I can change the video quality high, medium, or low. And that's about it on Hulu Plus. Um, but, you know, it, it works well. The interfaces are nice. The video quality is good.